Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 31 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Yesterday, we were in the social suite, which we can find under Lead Accelerator, and then Post Scheduling. And this was showing us how to schedule posts or create posts that we can then post on our connected social media profiles. You'll see our past posts. Yesterday, we posted simultaneously to both my Facebook and my Instagram account, excuse me, Facebook and Twitter account, um, information about the open house that I am scheduling for this coming Saturday. So the next opportunity is to go into post scheduling and we're actually going to schedule a post for um, a post that will happen later this week or next week or recurring. So let's click on schedule a post first. Um, I want to do consistent channel content so it goes both across Facebook and Twitter. Um, and today I'd like to share my neighborhood landing page. So um, I could create a post like this that says, are you interested in continually updating uh, real estate information specifically tied to your neighborhood? And then I have basically check out this page I created for my neighborhood. Let me know if you'd like to create a page for you in your neighborhood. What I basically did is I came to landing pages and I got the link for one of the landing pages that I already had. Now this is a pretty long link, especially for Twitter. So let's just show you an example. Let's copy this one. Say this was the link that I wanted to, to use. I can copy that with Control C, and then we can utilize a website called bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y to get there. And you can create a free account. And then in bit.ly, I can basically go to create bit.ly Right, here's the long, whoops, the long URL. And then I want to change the title. It's Keller Williams Neighborhood Landing Page for Village Green. And then I can actually even customize the back half of this. And I could just put Village Green and leave it at that, right? And then save. I can come down here now. Oops, there's been an error. This custom bit link is taken. Okay. So let's say village green info. Let's see if that one's been taken. There we go. So now on our main page in bit.ly, I can copy this little link. This is all that's going to show up. So I would copy that. And then I could come back into command, right? Go back to our lead accelerator. And it got us all the way out of that campaign excuse me, all the way out of that post. So we'll just go back in, have the post, right? Consistent channel content. And then I could create the post with that link. So this is what the content originally said. So let's just copy that in. I figured out that you guys don't like me typing, watching me type at least. So anyways, um, because you only have 280 characters, I would highly recommend utilizing Bitlink to create smaller links so you have more room on your posts. So that would be an example of a post. I could come down here and say, I want to add the post to the queue. Yesterday, we were posting immediately. Today, I would just like to add post to queue. It'll say, do you want to add? I say yes. And then I can go to the social suite. I can decide, do I want these posted daily or weekly? You can see it defaults to daily posting. So um, today, it's going to post on my Twitter account. Tomorrow, it would post on my Facebook account. I can change that if I'd like. I can come into Frequency Options. Right now, it says daily. Maybe I want to post that later on today. So maybe I would say 3 o'clock p.m., right? If I save that, you'll see that now it's going to post today at 3 and then again tomorrow at 3. If I feel like posting Friday and then Saturday is too much, I could also switch it up to weekly where instead of once daily, it's going to post once a week. Let's say I want it to post every Thursday and let's say I wanted it to post at 2 o'clock p.m. every Thursday. I could choose that. Click on save and then you're going to see it schedules the delivery for next Thursday. It's going to post to my Facebook account at 2 o'clock and then the Thursday following it's going to post at 2 o'clock again. And um, that one's going to be on my Facebook account. Now, let's just say we added in a third one. We just want to have Facebook. We just do a test. We queue that. I just want to show you what you can do when you have three or more. We go to the social suite. Okay, so now I have one going for Thursday the 11th. Well, let's say I wanted this post to be done first. I can click on this little rearrange 
and I can move it forward, it'll move it up one, or I can move it all the way to the front, and it would be the first post. So this one will go out this coming Thursday, and then the Thursday following, and then the Thursday following. So you can see if you want to continually have, if I want to schedule today a Facebook post or a Twitter post that would be posted every single week for the next month, for the next two months, I could do that. If I just said, look, consistent, and we know this, right, consistently posting on our social media channels will up our following and create algorithms where our content is showed more regular because we're, you know, regularly posting. So I could do that all within the social suite with my post scheduling to go ahead and post out. I could literally do an entire two months, three months worth of posts, and then I can come back in here. Now, if I ever want to say, you know what, I don't want to wait till Thursday. That's a good piece of content. I want to post that now. I can also click on post immediately. If I say, you know what, that's not that good of a post. I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. I can click on archive and it basically just kind of takes it out of the queue. And then of course I can always edit the post by clicking on the pencil. Say I want to edit it and then I can come back in and change up what I wanted to edit. All right. So that is basically the second half of post scheduling and how you can schedule those out per day or per week. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys this morning and as always I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.